Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October, 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable and powerful astrological month. We will begin on a full moon and end on a full moon. That makes this a blue moon month and a truly powerful time for us all. Now for you, the full moon right out of the gate is happening in fellow fire sign Aries. And it's not the easiest full moon. It is happening hand in hand with Chiron and yet it is valuable nonetheless. It is this part of the sky that has to do with understanding what you really want in your heart of hearts. It is about understanding what creative fulfillment means to you, what creativity itself is gonna mean. And this part of the sky also connects to children, children you have and children that you want. And so for many Sages out there, it is going to be this energy that brings a creative project into focus. Perhaps there is a sense of being able to get some recognition or attention for a creative endeavor. Now, because Chiron is right here, one of two things are going to happen. Either there will be an experience that makes you feel vulnerable or exposed in some way. And that ultimately is about bringing to the surface whatever it is that needs to heal within you. And where it is that you can channel that into your art, well, your art can become that much more powerful, whatever form that art may take. But what's also possible here is that you attract an experience that is positively healing, that allows you and encourages you to believe in your unique creative voice, whatever form it is that that may take, that helps you to affirm your right to feel a sense of fulfillment and to self-actualize, to be well used for the things that you like within yourself. That is how I see this part of the sky. And this is an opportunity for you to tap into that very part of you, that conviction that you deserve a more rewarding sense of moving through your existence, through your life. Now, as I said, children you want, children that you have are covered here as well. And whatever the desire is and wherever it is that you may feel you have to pay attention to a matter related to a child, it is going to be at this time that it may feel like there's a lot of vulnerability around these issues, that there may even be a sense of some uncertainty, but it's nothing that cannot be transcended. How to be a force of genuine healing in a child's life may show up for you at this time. Now it is as we get to the middle of the month, right around the 16th is when we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. And that includes professional group endeavors. Now this new moon will be speaking in conversations of tension with Pluto, with Saturn, with Jupiter. That is a big deal, okay? This is energy that is tense, that may be intense as well. And there may be an element here of frustration. Now, this is a new moon, which represents new beginnings. And for some, this is going to represent a time of some tension or frustration around a friend or a desire for a friend to be part of or to facilitate some opportunity in your life. Now, whatever frustration may be there around a particular person, know that this can be a moment of being more honest with yourself as to what your expectations are of others and where it is that some of those expectations are reasonable and where maybe some surrender needs to be practiced. Now for others, this could be a group endeavor. It could be that a new professional opportunity related to you working with others does show up, but there's a lot of mixed feelings around it. Uh, especially at this time, an awareness of where there might be heightened responsibility, there might be a heightened sense of uh, where it is that you need to pour a lot of energy into an endeavor, not really sure what you're going to get out of it. And in particular, the financial piece looks a little bit up in the air or looks a little bit iffy. So just know that these factors are there, they are a part of this, and then you can decide whether or not any sort of new opportunity is worth taking. It is about eyes wide open and yet also know this, this is a Mercury retrograde month. Mercury is going to retrograde for the most part and going to go retrograde just before this new moon in the sign just before yours, which means that there are key details you really are not seeing. This is a part of the sky that has to do with what you're just not aware of. 
that tendency is going to be that much more heightened and that is okay that is part of the energy of this time it is up to you to decide to take any new opportunity into consideration and know that whatever it may seem there may be more that is yet to be revealed now if it is that you're already involved in a group endeavor this may be very frustrating for you right about now and i just want to put it out there it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to continue on but there is going to be a sense of awareness of how there is complexity here as you consider your options now at the very end of the month that is when we are going to have a full moon and it is just in time for halloween and happening hand in hand with uranus in the sky there will be a surprise a minute at this time now this full moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life uh, and that includes your workplace and the people who surround you there the type of work that you're doing What's also covered here, though, is your health-related habits. I see this energy as cold turkey energy. This is like you, in an instant, going a different way, realizing something about how it is that you are living. This may be connected to something like your eating habits, or it may be connected to some other habit that you have, uh, but this is you going a whole different way very, very quickly. But what's also possible here, of course, is work. The workplace may change in some way. It could be very dramatically a person leaves, possibly a female, and it may feel very sudden. It is also possible at this time uh, that your responsibilities or your role changes. And again, it may be something very different, very dramatic, or it could also be a project coming to an end. Now, regardless of what happens, with Uranus, it is all about moving into the future. It's all about welcoming in a new and better set of circumstances. So whatever seems to be changing now, it really is okay because you will find ways to be energized and to propel yourself forward at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I'm being drawn right back to that full moon at the very beginning of the month. That part of the sky having to do with what you want in your heart of hearts, well, that includes in the context of love as well. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you will be getting your flirt on. It may make you feel vulnerable. It may bring up all your insecurities to the surface, but there's a part of you that knows that it may not be a bad thing. It could be that you attract a flirtatious experience that ultimately ends up feeling very healing to you in some way. For those of you who have just started to date somebody, so I see the energy working out a couple of different ways here. We do have that full moon. That is going to be dominant without a doubt because it is about dating and romance and you gaining insight into whether or not this is somebody that you want to move forward with. There is going to be a sense of illumination now. Either this person is a healing presence in your life or they are evoking uh, certain things within you that maybe you don't like. Either way, it's gonna be a turning point. And for those of you in an established bond, there is going to be a real heart level connection with your partner, a moment of honesty, a moment of vulnerability, especially in the first days of this month. You are considering how connected you have been feeling on a heart level and what it is you truly need to feel that sense of depth of emotional connection and love connection as well. Now your answers are going to be uniquely your own, but the great thing is in established bonds, there's also a spirit of healing and understanding amplified now. What I love about this month for you, well look, there's a lot here. It is a huge astrological month, heavy duty energies playing out right now. But I do think that full moon at the beginning of the month, it is vulnerability. There are questions and yet there is profound healing as well. As you get in touch with a deeper voice within, a voice of your heart that knows what it is that you're truly wanting. And with that sense of honest vulnerability, authentically channeled, you may find your heart's desired realized in real time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.